you know, I think that it's, uh, you got to finish. You got to go all the way. You, and it's, that doesn't mean to the Olympics or training for those, but you got to finish what you, well, you got to have an objective first. I mean, some people don't even have a goal. And so just ba on the basic level, you got to have an objective. And then once you set one, once you have something in mind, you got to finish it. You got to finish the process of trying. And I don't know many people that are overly bitter and overly disappointed with working as hard as they could. You know, I, there aren't many people I know that said, I wish I wouldn't have worked so hard in wrestling. It was a waste of um, my time because I didn't get what I wanted and I put everything I had into it. Usually those people are saying, well, I didn't get what I wanted, but thank God I did everything that I could because of what I got out of it. And um, young kids don't understand that. Uh, they think, you know, you, they're trying to get this balance of, how much of a normal life can I have and still be a state champion? How much of the things can I do with my friends and still go to the state tournament? And it really should be the other way around. What can I do to be a state champion and po quite possibly have a little bit of a social life? Um, you know that you, you you know the good thing those good things should drive your thoughts. And um, you know my goals always drove my thoughts and. You know, they consume me to some extent. I'm not asking kids to have their their sport or their goal consume them. But it really should be more of something that's at the forefront of your mind. I don't know many people that, I don't know anybody truly that did that and regretted it. But I know hundreds, thousands of people that say, I wish I would have done more. And um, don't be that guy. And I'm not, I'm not that guy. And I'm glad I'm not. But um, a lot of people are.